Welcome to IBM Smart Business Development and Test on the IBM Cloud. As a member of the team, I would like to show you just how easy it can be to use a secure shell client to connect to an instance running on the development and test environment. Please note, if I didn't have an SSH client, there are many downloads available over the Internet. For this demonstration, I will use PuTTY. Another good option is Sigwin. After signing in, I clicked on the Control Panel tab and then on the Instance Sub tab. Here is the instance I created earlier during the Instance Creation Scenario. I named this one QA Testing 6. As we saw in the Instance Creation Demo, the Instance Creation Wizard required me to download the security key at that time. If I misplace that key, I will not be able to access my instance. In this example, my private key is in my My Documents Downloads subdirectory, but I could have saved the key to any location on my computer. I'm now ready to work with the key. The first step is to use the PuTTY Generator client to convert the IBM private key into the necessary format. Please note that the actions of working with PuTTY Gen and then using PuTTY to configure the key are done only once. I will start with PuTTY Gen and then click the Load button. To see the newly created IBM private key, which is a .com underscore RSA file, I must change the files of type from .ppk to All Files. The window now shows one or more keys that I generated during instance creation. I select the specific private key that I want and then click the Open Push button. A message from PuttyGen tells me that it has imported the foreign key. I click OK. Now I click on the Save Private Key button. The Save Private Key As window pops up. The key could use a name that reflects the name of the instance. We created an instance in the first demo named QA Test Number 6, and I also will add the text at the end, Security Key. I confirm that this file will be saved with the PPK extension, and then click the Save button. Here, I click on the instance that we want to access. Below the table, I can see the details for that instance here. I copy its IP address into the clipboard. I jump back to my desktop, find the icon, and start PuTTY, and paste the IP address that I copied from the instance into the host name field. Now I expand the connection folder and then click on Data. I type IDCUSER in the Auto Login Username field. Next, I open the SSH folder and then click on AUTH. At this point, we will select Allow Attempted Changes of Username in SSH2, and then click Browse, and then select the private key that we converted earlier. I named it QA Test Number 6 Security Key. Now I click Open. We're back at the main PuTTY window. I click Open on this window, and as we can see, I am up and running with our instance. One of the first actions administrators typically perform is to connect with their instance and open the necessary IP table firewall ports. I will demonstrate how to adjust the OS level firewall settings in a following video. This concludes our demo. For more information about instances and key pairs on the IBM Smart Business Development and Test on the IBM Cloud, please visit the support page and check out our video and documentation libraries. To learn more about IBM and its cloud initiatives, please visit ibm.com slash cloud. Thank you.